this work of Santa Filomena was painted in 1840 by the Italian artist Giuseppe Bezzuoli. And while both the saint and the artist may not be the most famous ones, chances are that by watching this video you may have heard of either of them. In short, the 13-year-old Saint Philomena was the daughter of a Greek king who had converted to Christianity and she died as a martyr around the year 300. This painting shows her shortly before her death as we can already see the shackles around her wrists. A large crucifix lays on the table in front of her and she takes a moment to devote herself to God with her palms up which is a symbol for surrendering herself, as she is asking for her life to be in God's hands. Next to the crucifix are some white lilies, which are a traditional symbol for purity and virginity. And then there are two little angels holding the red curtain behind her, which serves both as a reference for her upcoming martyrdom, but also provides a nice contrast which Bacuoli must have appreciated for artistic purposes. And before returning to the Philomena story and showing you some of the very limited depictions of her by other artists, it is good to note that the evidence about her life story is limited at best. Anyway, the story goes that when she was 13 years old, she made a vow to remain a virgin for the rest of her life and dedicate herself to God. But things did not go according to plan when the Roman Emperor Diocletian wanted to go to war with her father's kingdom. So the father took his family to Rome to negotiate for peace. However, when the Emperor saw the young Philomena, he fell in love with her and wanted her to become his wife. This was obviously against the vow Philomena had made and so she refused. The Emperor used his full torturing repertoire on Philomena, but to no avail as the angels helped her to stay safe. So, in the end, she was decapitated. As is the case with some other martyrs and saints, there is not a lot of objective evidence for her story, but that's not really the point here, as her story was quite popular in Italy during the time Bezzuoli painted her. The painting is located in the Pistoia Cathedral, and looking at this image, it seems that it is overdue for some restoration. There is a lot of crack allure, especially in her hair, and restoring these little cracks would do wonders to this painting. But nevertheless, it is still a pretty fascinating work. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. If you did, Please like and subscribe to support the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be alerted when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.